Crook Ramsey. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl JWA back with another video. I'm so so sorry I haven't been uploading if you're new here my name is jwa joie and that stands for joy which is who i am and what i'm giving okay thank y'all once again for giving me 1k subscribers i worked so 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 hard to get those subscribers staying up all night and day asking for subscribers it's nothing for me to just keep uploading videos but i need y'all to watch them like i need people to be watching them so it was really amazing to see how the subscribers was growing so i really appreciate you guys for participating um with the giveaways with the gender reveal like everybody did their thing to make sure i got to my 1k so i really do appreciate that um so today's video is gonna be super simple i've been dreading getting up recording because i've how i've been feeling but i'm like let me go ahead and just shoot one today because i know that a lot of females are getting pregnant have been pregnant um, or gonna be pregnant, I mean, and or pregnant right now. And they ask me so many questions all the time on YouTube or on Instagram. So it's like, okay, I might as well give y'all a real deal spill of what's going on or why I haven't been vlogging. It's so much stuff going on that people do not tell you when you're pregnant. Like, you hear stories about this and that person, but everybody's story is different. So I'm just gonna give you guys a few pros and cons of what I'm going through during my pregnancy. And hopefully, you know, it'll give you a little bit of insight to see how, you know, yours may be or vice versa, how it might be different from mine. Everybody's pregnant pregnancy is different. So don't judge your pregnancy off of nobody else's. We'll get into that, okay? Cause baby yeah so first off i want to start off by saying i really thought that i was having a girl because of how sick i was i was listening to a lot of people they were saying oh if you're super super sick you're gonna have a girl so i had this stuck in my mind that i'm having a girl like i'm super sick every single day y'all when i had my son i was maybe sick for about two months maybe two months that's it and it was specific foods that were making me sick this baby here he don't care he literally makes me throw up when I have to brush my teeth. He makes me throw up when I get in the car. Like, I get seasick. Not seasick. Wow. Car sick. I mean, anything can make me throw up. Somebody can say throw up, and I'm like, about to gag. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, and don't let me hear somebody else throwing up. Baby. That does not mean that you know the gender of your baby, okay? I'm having a boy, so it's obvious that that doesn't mean you're having a girl. I read um, a few times that it states you have to take care of your body. When you're pregnant, you have to eat right. If you didn't eat right before you got pregnant, your body is going to react to it. So that's what the morning sickness is, like not having good reflexes or, or gag reflexes or something like that. That's just from you not taking care of your body before the baby. So it has nothing to do with the gender. Don't let people fool you. It has nothing to do with that. All those myths and beliefs are like 2% true because y'all had me thinking that I was having a girl. Y'all saw my face. I was super shocked. I wasn't upset. I was shocked that's another thing y'all i was not crying because i didn't want a boy i was crying because i was shocked yes and i wanted to be done everybody wants to have a boy and a girl and be done and be perfect so i'm like okay good if i have my girl then i won't have to worry about having any more kids but it's cool i can still not have any more kids and have my two boys but it's just like now i really want to push for my girl so whatever happens happens okay like at this point if i don't if third time's a charm if i don't have my girl that third time a couple years from now i don't care i'm done <laughs> i'm done okay we made an agreement i'm done so that was just like a fun fact i'm gonna give y'all a pro a pro about being pregnant is i get to eat whatever i want Honestly, it's not even about if it's unhealthy or healthy. I get to turn up. Okay, if you don't want your sandwich, you don't want your cornbread. You want your cornbread. You gonna eat your cornbread. Mm -mm. Oh, Trevor. I can eat anything. Like, I'm gonna eat your food. And nobody can tell me no. 
That's the best part. If you're at a restaurant and they see you're pregnant, they might throw some extra shit on your plate just because you're pregnant. Like, use your pregnancy to your advantage, okay? Eat what you want. Eat how much you want, as long as you want. It's going to be good. I mean, I wouldn't overdo it because, like, you know, the baby's in there. So, it's going to get full hella quick and then you're going to be all tight and then grumpy. You know, just pace yourself. But you can eat it all. That's the point of it all. Like, girl, if they tell you, oh, you got to eat salads all the time and carrots and celery and stuff, you don't got to roll it. You can eat what you want. Like, girl, it's great. I try not to overdo it with spicy foods. I try not to overdo it with salty foods. I'm staying away from pork, ground beef, stuff that just doesn't sit because the baby's going to tell you. The baby's going to let you know, like, I don't like this. You're going to have to use the bathroom really soon. You're just going to get those feelings like, okay, maybe I won't shouldn't eat this you know what i'm saying so pick and choose what you want to eat but have fun girl don't don't worry about getting fat gaining weight all that that baby needs to eat eat three or four times a day i eat at 11 30 every night i'm trying to get thick okay i need this baby weight to stay on me period a con that kind of goes with the eating a lot i throw up a lot and um like I said, it's about taking care of your body. So I wasn't eating right before. So I don't want to suggest to y'all to eat crazy. Because then, you know, it's going to backfire. But I feel like the throwing up is a con. Because it's just like, dang, I didn't know I was going to get pregnant. Like, I would have started eating better if I would have known this. But I didn't know. So it's a real bad thing now. Because Every time I brush my teeth, I'm gagging. And then when I throw up, it's a constant coming back thing. It's not even like giving me a break. I'm exhausted. Tears start coming in my eyes. Like, you know, when you throw up, you get really te um, what's it called? Teary-eyed, you know? Because it's exhausting. And you're throwing out your guts. Like, you're sick. So, throwing up is very exhausting to me. And I, I don't know how to come down from that. And that's... A con for sure another pro is they have so many programs for females that have babies and are gonna have babies they have wig they have food stamps a lot of people might not qualify i didn't get to qualify for food stamps which is crazy but whatever they do have wick and wick makes sure you have bread wicks make wicks wick makes sure you have bread uh food milk peanut butter canned goods fruits Everything nutritional that you're going to need for this baby, WIC is going to make sure you have it for free, okay? So, there should be no excuse on why you shouldn't be feeding the baby. There should be no excuse on why you're not eating. There should be no excuse because WIC is going to take care of you. You just have to do the, the, the work, you know what I'm saying? Go fill out those papers, sit in that WIC office for 5-10 minutes and get your stuff. I don't know why people be acting all bougie like they don't want to pull out their wig car, like they uh, don't want to pull out their food stamp car. But baby, I'm not bougie at all. Let me swipe them visas because I can keep my money in my pocket. Y'all better get with the program. <laughs> Ain't no shame over here. It's just the government owes us in real life. We pay our taxes. Hello. Crazy. <laughs> A con. So I cannot fit nothing, y'all. When you get pregnant, go ahead and start shopping for things that you feel like you'll be able to wear on a consistent basis. Because at this point, I'm walking around naked. Today, y'all, I found a really cute outfit. I don't know when I got this. Ooh. I love thick, don't I? Y'all, so I will be seven months in about two days. Maybe a week. I don't know. Can't keep up. But, um... It's really hard to find something to wear. Honestly, like, either I don't want to wear a bra because it's too tight or the shorts are too tight on my belly. The pants are too tight. I haven't worn pants in weeks. Dresses sometimes even be too tight. It's just like, bro, somebody needs to come out with a very cute girly line for maternity clothes. I'm not. First of all, I went on Sheen. All that stuff on there is ugly. Let's just say that. Fashion over ugly let's just say that first off it's summertime y'all i'm not trying to wear no long sleeve in the house or outside the house i mean i don't want to wear that that's ugly no find me something cute i found this from um fashion world now i gotta go find stuff that don't even really supposed to be on me and make it work now they think i'm trying to be a hot mama 
I'm just trying to find stuff that fit. I can't, I gotta find stuff that stretch. You know what I'm saying? They have maternity clothes, but I wanna be cute. I wanna be in style. Somebody help, find it. Somebody make up a line, maternity. Maybe it should be me. Another pro, everybody's super nice to you when you're pregnant. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're a really like popular person and you was used to being around a lot of guys and stuff like that, they not gonna be nice to you no more. Yeah, they're gonna be friendly, but these guys be mad, baby. When, when, you get, when you get pregnant and you got a man and you love him, even if you're not with your people, when you are pregnant, these, these niggas be mad, okay? They be mad because they know they can't get with you no more. It, I don't know. But I know when I was pregnant with my son, I tried to go buy my boyfriend some shoes. And these boys was giving me the run around. Like, they was not trying to help me. They're like, oh, she pregnant. She got a new dude. Like, we don't even want to help her. But it's not always like that. Everybody is pretty much nice to you when you're pregnant. I mean, it's nothing you can do because you're pregnant. So they helping you. They opening doors. Excuse me. They probably giving you early gifts. Like, being pregnant, you get a lot of different advantages. Like, as long as you're around the right people, <laughs> you never know. Some people don't care. A con. So I can't really like go everywhere I want to go. Um, most of the time it's an emotional thing. My hormones are everywhere. I don't really feel like going nowhere. Most of the time Anthony wants me to go like to get my nails done, to go out to eat. I don't want to do none of that. Y'all, if this camera stops on me one more time, I'm going to cry. So um, like I was saying, I don't really have a desire to go anywhere wear only just because of my emotions too i can't really find a lot of stuff to wear all of my stuff like i buy is based off of the event i was one of those girls like i don't buy stuff to lay around the house in if i buy clothes it's for an event or it's because i want to look good all the time so it's super dressy or something like that you know what i'm saying so um I don't like going nowhere. So just be be aware, you know, sometimes your emotions are going to be like that. And it's not you and your spouse should look at you the same way. It's not her. It's just her feelings. It's her emotions. And she's just all over the place. And I really am. Like, sometimes I'm in my feelings and I don't know why. I'm emotional and I don't know why. I want to cry and I don't know why. I want, I'm sad and I don't know why. Like, we do know why. We're pregnant. Mm, I don't know if I got any more good stuff to say. <laughs> Well, the good thing is, you know, I'm having another baby and I'm excited about it. And my baby boy is going to have a sibling. We're going to be prepared. So let me talk about the cons because it's a lot of stuff they don't tell you. First of all, I be crimping all the time. Nah, if you're crimping to the point where it's horrible, like you need to go see a doctor. But you're going to feel those slight body changes that feels like cramps. But it's really just your muscles are stretching. Like they're literally trying to make room for this baby in your, in your stomach. So... At that point, y'all, you're going to feel every little, ooh, baby. That thing there is serious because your body's not used to it. Mind you, I've had a baby before, so I thought that my body was smoothly going to this process. But even still, this second baby, they say give you the worst because I'm feeling it. Every time he kicks, moves, it was like super early when I started to feel it. And with Gigi, I was waiting months to feel kicking and stuff. But this baby here, he wasted no time. He lets me know every time he feels something he doesn't like. And my body's always going through these different body aches. My back hurts. Um, another thing, too, I gave birth to my son and I, I had an epidural. And they tell you that, you know, sometimes the epidural has... Uh, side effects or later on effects and I think it, it has a started to affect me because my back hurts all the time I'm always hot I was always hot before I got pregnant I think it's because I'm anemic but that's neither here nor there it's hot okay this summer don't get pregnant don't get pregnant during the summer that's the worst don't do it um another thing is no red meat so my doctor told me that I couldn't eat red meat um no hot tubs What's another one? You can't take any medicines. Only medicines you can have is your prenatals and a Tylenol. That's it. Those are the... Oh, and I guess like if they prescribe you some nausea pills or whatever, but I'm going to throw up trying to take a nausea pill. So, yeah, no, nah, that ain't going to work. You can't take no medicine, child. Nothing's going to be good for that baby if you give it anything you don't need natural. There's a lot of sleepless nights. Um, like I said, that has a lot to do with the body aches, the baby just moving around, growing inside of you. You're not going to be able to sleep, one, because you're trying to get your body right and get comfortable. And the baby's probably just waking up. So it's like 
the opposite what's going on in your stomach from what's going on out here so i don't know how but jit just think that it's a perfect time to just start kicking and you know doing stuff to me at night i don't know how he know it's nighttime but it's the worst because i need him to cooperate you know what i'm saying it's time to go to sleep let mommy get some rest you know um i try my best to sleep on my side sometimes he let me know that side's not working you need to do this i can't sleep on my back that's not comfortable for me at all the worst is when my husband tries to cuddle with me and he thinks that i'm being mean but it's just like ben i already got this baby right here holding me all close i mean you know making me all uncomfortable and he want to hold me all close and make it all hot and and extra then he like, I just won't touch you no more. Whatever, like, whatever, bro. Like, come on, don't do that. You know I love you. Like, dang. Just let me breathe. I need some air. God damn. I can't bend over, you guys. That's another one. I cannot bend over. I can't see down there. I can't shave. I can't even, like, put on lotion. I can barely put my drawers on. I can't do nothing with this belly. I need help doing everything. They tell you not to pick up stuff over the 50 pound weight limit. My boy is fat. My Gigi, he's like 30 pounds. He heavy. He is not trying to hear that. Mommy can't pick me up. What? No. No, he's not trying to hear that. So I'm starting to think like, okay, I'm going to really be having to really pace myself and tell myself like, okay, Joy, you can't do it all. Once a new baby gets here, you're going to have to let Gigi know like mommy can't hold you right now. And that's going to be hard for me because I don't want G-Lo to think that we're going to be ignoring him, not showing him as much love. Like, I love my baby. That's my first, my one and only first baby. So he, he's never going to get his spot taken. But I want him to also be patient with me and the new baby because it's, He's going to enjoy Makai when he gets older. I don't know if I told y'all this, but I want to name our second baby Makai. And it kind of coincides with his dad and his brother's name, which is Michael. So I think that's cute, super cute. Um, but yeah, I just want him to be comfortable. I want him to be sweet to him. I want him to love him. And I want him to be helpful. And I want him to know we still love him. And that's just going to be something I'm going to have to go through and over time it'll get better and you can have multiple kids and bring them together and they still love each other without showing one more favoritism than the other like i don't believe in that i believe in showing love to both kids i mean how could you not love the baby that's been here this whole time even though you got a new baby you ain't gonna forget this baby he right here he already got his own personality he are we already know what he like you know what i'm saying he ain't going nowhere so yeah, there's a lot of stuff that they don't tell you about being pregnant. Well, you know, a lot of stuff that they don't tell you during your pregnancy. Um, I believe next week I have to take the glucose test. And that's when you drink this like toxic ass drink. And you gotta take some blood. They gotta take your blood after that. And I guess they're testing your blood levels. But honestly, y'all, the shit is nasty. And I don't understand why we gotta do it. Because you have to fast. You can't eat before you do the test. Then I just tell y'all I'm going to throw up. You know what I'm saying? Like, how y'all know a pregnant woman ain't going to throw this stuff up? And then if you don't pass the glucose test within that hour, you have to come back and take it again and wait three hours before you can um, actually leave. It's a mess. Like, they ain't tell me none of that. You got to do all of that. I'm about to hurry up because my video keeps stopping and it's about to piss me off. That's another thing. I'm super annoyed every single day. It don't matter what it is, who it is, what they do, how they do it. I'm going to get mad because my emotions are everywhere. And I get annoyed super, super quick. I have to catch myself or I have my family or friends tell me like, Joy, you getting snappy. You don't even have to say it like that. But I'm not trying to. I promise. It's just please be patient with these pregnant women. They, they really, really don't mean it. They're just trying to get through these emotions, these hormones. It's like a clicking in your head like oh get mad type shit and you don't even think about it like so i'm trying to stay calm and work on my patience because i do have another baby so i don't like to get agitated really quick i notice you know i have to be more patient with him and um you're just gonna be like that y'all like for real if you're pregnant you're gonna get either upset you're gonna cry you're gonna be mad you're gonna not have sex you're gonna not want to have sex i have the lowest sex drive like 
and Michael is not happy with it, but it is what it is. I do not want to be touched. I don't want to be nothing. I just don't want to do nothing because I just feel like I'm at a standstill. Like, I'm not myself yet. You know what? And with that being said, with this phone keeps stopping, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Y'all, I got to get some more equipment. The shit not working. I'm going to get pissed off. I will see y'all later. I wrote down my list. I can't even fucking finish it. I'm tired of this phone. At this point, it keep cutting off on me. It's hot in here. I'm trying to get it together. It's really finna piss me off. I've been trying to record this video for y'all. Hopefully, I can edit it and it turns out right. If it don't, y'all see I tried. Y'all see, I tried. <sighs> I'ma show y'all my belly, and I'ma get out of here, cause I'm finna get pissed. I, I hope I helped y'all with as much information as I could throughout this video. Um, if y'all have any more questions, DM me, message me in the comments, let me know what y'all think. Uh, oh yeah. So this is almost seven months, y'all. I'm getting super, super big. Like I said, don't get pregnant in the summer, girl. Um, but yeah, I'm about to end this video because I, if it keeps stopping, y'all, it keeps stopping. And it's crazy because I just got this phone. Um, so yeah, I really appreciate y'all joining this video. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I definitely gonna have some more um, videos coming up next. I'll probably use my boyfriend's camera because I just boyfriend, my husband. <laughs> God, y'all, I'm a newlywed, so I have to keep reminding myself that he's not my boyfriend no more. He's my not my baby daddy. He my husband. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just tell Michael to just let me hold his phone so I can record, and then um we'll probably get back to y'all with a, like, a new video. I got a couple more. I have so much stuff written down and, and ideas that I'm ready to shoot. It's just if I wake up and I don't feel good just not going down and then i have to work still i started i take care of my baby do everything i need to do i'm trying period don't give up on me i love you please stay tuned the phone's going dead this is too much bye bye <laughs> bye 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 y'all crook ramsey